Hey man, I'm back with another one today. Shit, it's gonna hey, be a little like different a vlog today, you feel me? This one gonna be motivation to shit. Any nigga that ever caught a case, any nigga in the streets, you feel me? Be thinking like it's only one round to get out, you feel me? It ain't never too long to switch up. I don't give a fuck how old you is, I'm just gonna get you in the blue, you feel me? Feel me? Bro, been out, what? God damn it, seven, eight months. Feel me, nigga done got a dually truck. Motherfucker got 2020 dually truck at that. Motherfucker got a box truck. Motherfucker got the trailer. Got the LLCs, all that shit. DOTs, all that shit. And he run these motherfuckers, feel me? He only been out the field for seven, eight months, you feel me? There be motherfuckers out here that ain't never caught a case, you feel me? Never. And they ain't did, they ain't started nothing. They got the money too, man. It ain't never too late, goddamn it, to switch up, man. I ain't gonna do too much talking, you feel me? I'm gonna introduce y'all to the nigga himself, you feel me? Let him tell y'all, you feel me? Yeah. Right, shit, man, like I was telling them, man, this one right here is gonna be more of a motivational uh, vlog, you feel me? For all the niggas that goddamn it done. Been through the trenches and shit. You still in the trenches, nigga. That stick it ain't no other way out. You feel me? Let a motherfucker know you. It's legal ways to make that same type of cheese. You feel me? Yeah, that's the way it's definitely the way it's out. Majority of niggas, majority of niggas ain't making that much money anyway, hustling. You know? I mean, motherfuckers act like they is or not, but you jump in one of these motherfucking trucks, goddammit, and niggas shoot off and making a G 1500 box, you know what I'm saying, a day. You know what I'm saying? Niggas pulling in five, six Gs a week. Like, a lot of you niggas ain't getting that out here anyway in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. For real, you know what I'm saying? Don't let the money be a, a nigga motivation to keep risking your motherfucking life when you ain't really making that amount of money that's worth the risk, you feel me? So, yeah. it's definitely ways a motherfucker can get up out the streets, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely ways a nigga can get that same type of money that niggas in the streets got, you know what I'm saying? Legally, and don't gotta worry about all that extra shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell them how long y'all, how long you been out? You ain't been out that long. I got out the you know, motherfuckers just jump out here and shit just get to happening, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew I wanted to do something different, you know what I mean? Granted, I was on some other shit, you know what I'm saying, when I first came home, but this shit right here kind of just fell into my lap, you know what I'm saying? I took advantage of it, like, just seeing what other motherfuckers had going on, you know what I'm saying? It just made more sense than what I was already planning to do, you feel me? So, I just took them resources that I was planning to put into the other endeavor, you know what I'm saying, and putting it into the truck. I like for the motherfuckers that think you feel me, all right, I got the money, I could just go ahead and goddamn it, go cash out on the dually and all this, I try to tell motherfuckers, man, some motherfuckers let the losses discourage them and shit, man, like a nigga take losses and then be like, fuck this shit, I'm about to go on back to the street. Let, let niggas know, you feel me? That loss is part of the game. You done took losses. Any, 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 yeah, I definitely took losses. I took some shit that we ain't even gonna discuss on the camera. You know what's up? Mm -hmm. Any nigga who, you know what I'm saying, ain't willing to take no chances and take no risks, you know what I'm saying? This ain't the game for you. Like, you know when you made a big purchase, when you went and grab a dub or 30 and you went to go buy something, you know them butterflies you get in your stomach? That's gonna be the same shit you gonna get when you going to buy a box truck. That's gonna be the same shit you gonna get when you go drop 10, 15,000 on a trailer. That's gonna be the same shit you get when you go buy a dude. You know what I'm saying? I could have had an S550, goddammit. I could have had all type of shit instead of this truck. This is 70,000 motherfucking all truck. You know what I'm saying? But it don't look 2020 like it. though, you feel 2022. me? 2022. 2022, my yeah, bad. I'm so, tripping. So, so it, don't, it don't even look like it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, um, but it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do the job though, you I feel me? Fire extinguisher mounted. You see the gooseneck kit, you see the rhino van lining, like all oh, this shit is aftermarket that had to be. And you see, I'm living like a truck, you know what I'm saying? Change, I got all my straps on here, load binders, tarps, you know what I'm saying? My tool kit, death fuel, 
You know what I'm saying? Like everything a motherfucker gonna need. I just ordered my bed, a bed to put in the back, and this motherfucker air up off Amazon. So, you know, I'm really dedicated. I know I'm gonna have to spend some nights in this motherfucker truck. You know what I'm saying? But um, I got my ELD kit on the way. It's a 2022 Dodge Ram 3500. Yeah, bro pulled up on me. This motherfucker, this motherfucker had like 230. Probably got more now. But that bitch had about 230 on it when he pulled up on me. And Yeah, it's definitely, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you definitely gonna have to take a risk and spend some money, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get into exactly how much money I spent, you know what I'm saying? It's an it's inline six, six I'm thinking about all that shit, you know what I'm saying? When I when I when I make a, a truck, shoot it for personal truck, you know what I'm saying? You think about the long run, you know what I'm saying? How much how much you gonna be able to get out of the truck? How many miles you gonna be able to get out? How much oil change costs? Like all that shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot I heard a lot of shit about the Ford, you know what I'm saying? Between the Ford 350 and one of these, you know what I'm saying? In the end, I went ahead and went with the Ram, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that by this time next year, the goal is to have three of these motherfuckers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Ford, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the Silverado 3500. It's all said and done. I'm gonna have all the bitches, but I went ahead and went with the Ram first. I'm gonna let y'all know here first. When I grab my shit, I'm grabbing the Ford. <laughs> Just letting y'all know that. Bro went with the Dodge, but he did his research on reasons why he went with the Dodge. It's like I did my research on why I'm gonna go with the Ford. But bro gonna get him a four, so it ain't really nothing about We trying to have these bitches running then. He got the box truck over here too. And by the way, he uh looking for a driver too that's willing to that, that that's willing to uh, pay is good in the motherfucker. That's trying to stay on the road Monday through Friday. You stay out there seven days a week. Shit if you want to. Like it's all on you, you know what I'm saying? How much faith you trying to make out that opinion? Better your situation. Fast turtle logistics. They're gonna get the GOT and all that. This is the first, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is, the, first, this is the first first truck you bought when you got out. How long was you out when you got this motherfucker? He was out about three months before I bought it. He was out the fence three months before he got this motherfucker. Trailer. We gon' go ahead and run, but I'm 
And as y'all can see, you feel me? It's still the start, you feel me? Nick's still in the trenches with this shit, you feel me? Next couple videos, you feel me? Well, I ain't gonna say next couple, but soon, you feel me? Hope y'all can see the progress and shit, the elevation. Fucking making more money off this shit. Showing motherfucker how still living the same, motherfucker just ain't living the same, you feel me? It's gonna let that go over y'all niggas' heads, though, you feel me? Though. A lot of people out here charging motherfuckers to set up their DOT, set up their authority. You know what I'm saying? I did it on my own. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the laptop, me and mama sit there, did the research. You know what I'm saying? Now we filled that shit out on our own. We got our authority. We got our LLC. You know what I'm saying? When and bought the truck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Razor from the Davis Insurance. We went through Progressive. We got insured. Put that motherfucker on the road. We got factoring through uh, Phoenix Capital Group or Gulf Coast Factoring. Shit, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Everything is ready. And like I said, I ain't no motherfucking scientist or no engineer. Or nothing. I did all this shit myself. So, you don't have to pay a motherfucker to set this shit up. All you gotta do is Google it, do your research, get on there, fill out your application, and make it happen. I'm a felon. I got state dates, dope case. I got fed, dope case. Ain't no restriction. Unless you've been molesting motherfucking kids or something like You feel yeah. I me? Mean? You, you, you can get out here and get you an authority. You know what I'm saying? Start you a truck. You feel me? You heard it from the man itself. You feel me? And a lot of you motherfuckers ain't never caught no case. And a lot of you niggas ain't caught cases in years. Y'all been having nice runs. But not even if you in the streets, you can have a job and just have your money saved up and you tired of working for a motherfucker. You feel me? Just heard it first when a motherfucker just got out the fist. And got them and they got them and got all this shit. Motherfuckers have been out here for years. I ain't got half of it, you feel me? I just, I just want to bring y'all type of, you know, something different, something motivational, you feel me? Something to put a little fat on y'all head. Another thing, you feel me? A lot of you motherfuckers get in this truck and shit, and then once y'all get in, a motherfucker help y'all in it. But then when your nigga or your brother or your cousin come and trying to get in it, y'all niggas ain't got no information for a nigga. Y'all trying to sell a nigga information. You heard it. You feel me? Some whole ass shit. You feel me? Them, 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 them insecure niggas. Man, think, like, it's so much money in this shit, man. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. You know what I'm saying? I got a load board. I got three or four load boards that I pay for. And I, it's, it's hundreds of loads on that motherfucker every day at any given time. It's thousands of loads on there. I can only take one. So why wouldn't I want my nigga to go out and get a truck? Why would like it's 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 it's, it's, it's thousands of loads on this motherfucker, and I can only take one, maybe two a day. You know what I'm saying? So why wouldn't I want my brother to get in this motherfucker, get him a truck, and take the next load, the one that I couldn't take? You know what I'm saying? It's too much money in this shit. It's a shortage on drivers. Sure so even is. if I'm every saying. nigga from your hood had five trucks and all y'all niggas was running. It'll still be a shortage on drivers, and it'll still be more than enough work for every motherfucker to eat out here. You know what I'm saying? So any nigga being self-sustaining with that information is just a fucked up individual, you know what I'm saying, that don't want to see the next motherfucker eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't give a fuck. I know the, the average nigga, I get his information too. I'm going to out-hustle him anyway, because I'm going to drive longer. I'm going to think smart. I'm going to be out here on this motherfucking road more dedicated than the average nigga. You know what I'm saying? But if I I get his information to a nigga and he take off way past me and he shine and get three or four trucks, four, five hundred G's a year, like, prior to him. Like, I, I tell my hat to a nigga like that, you feel me? But, you know, that's what this shit made for him, bro. Like, seven months out the bed, I started off working a job at Smithfield for the first time. So, I'm going to get my man me and save it on that little paper. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I came home with it. You know what I'm saying? And put that shit to good use, bro. The nigga can do the same thing. And if you don't got no money, and you can't go out and buy a 2022 truck, you can't go buy a trailer, you can't go buy a box truck. You can come around.